Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and do you all remember this game? It's been a hot minute since I've last played it, but a lot has changed since we last enjoyed, well, essentially destroying some people. Oh my god, you can click their brain? I didn't even know that. That's fantastic. Anyways, a recent update has come out. We've missed a lot of updates in this game, though, but uh, it kind of reminded me of it, and I wanted to check it out again. But yeah, this newest update has added a lot of fun things, like we should have, yes, a chainsaw now. Ah, well, this isn't dangerous at all. Oh my god. Oh, you're stuck. You're stuck. Okay, this is already extremely grim. Please get off my chainsaw. There we go. All right, well, how do you people like your humans? This is so gory. I forgot how gory this damn game was. What is this thing? I don't know what the hell this is. It doesn't... Oh! Oh, yep. They are definitely worms that have the taste of human flesh. This is... This, this is a horrifying weapon. Who thinks of this? Well, I guess people who make this kind of game, that's that's actually kind of obvious. All aboard the boom train! You guys survive that? What is this bus made out of? I'll try and survive this, you asshole. Hey! <laughs> Man, ripped right in half. We also have a defibrillator, so these are made to revive people. Let's, um, first of all, make sure he's, he's, he's knocked out a little bit. Activate. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go! <laughs> That's actually amazing. All right, well, now you're immune, my friend, so hold on. Let's just... Where the hell did he go? All, all I see is blood. Okay, are you gonna survive this one, buddy? Here we go. Clear! Oh, God damn it! hold on. Clear, there we go! He's alive again! <laughs> Can we do it too much, though, and kill him with it? All right, here you go, buddy. I understand you're alive, but... Oh, yeah, actually, it doesn't seem to actually kill him. That's unfortunate. But you can still kill him like that. Oh my god, you're immune. Get out of here! We also have detachable cannons now, so that's exciting. Now let's test this thing out. How good is it? How many people can it get through, if you will? Oh! I'm actually surprised it didn't get through the whole line. That was really cool to watch, though. <laughs> oh, so that was what? About five, six people? One guy's cut in half over here. We must be able to do better than that. Well, you know what's better than lead? Lasers. Maybe not. Maybe it's not actually better. Oh my god, I thought I'd be able to do so much more damage with these things. I mean, it's still fun. I'm not complaining. But I thought I'd be able to go through the whole line with a laser. Guess we'll just have to drop an atom bomb. Here it comes, and... Oh yeah, I have to activate it. There we go. Now everybody's happy. Okay, so there's a quick showcase of some of the new weapons in the update. There's still some more ones I haven't shown, but uh, maybe we'll get around to doing those later. What I truly want to do today is see what the creative community's been doing. And of course, they're building torture factories because, well, it's People Playground, and that's what this game is all about. You know what? Let's just make them stumble. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you stumble around. Let's just make them cower, actually. That's even more sad. There we- okay, he didn't last any, any, anywhere near the end of this. Jesus, like we got rows upon rows of different types of weapons. I don't know, even know what these things are. It looked like a staple gun or something. Oh, that's great. Is he still alive? He's, he looks like he's trying to get up. I don't think he's alive. You know what? Just because I care about you, buddy, let's activate that thing and see if we can get this going here. All right, come on. It didn't seem to work at all. Okay, it's, it's almost like he's too dead now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm surprised he's full limbs still. I thought he'd be in, in little pieces by now, but no, this is a fantastic factory. There we go. Oh, add, add some fire to it. Perfect. Now we also got some syringes. He's so dead right now, he's not even really getting hit by the majority of these. Oh, look, we have the chainsaws with my defibrillator in the way. Unfortunately, he didn't get hit too much by those. Well, they say angels can't die, so let's see if an angel can survive this. I mean, he can't even stand up, so I don't I don't think it's gonna go well for this poor- Oh my god, we just killed an angel. But yeah, I'm just gonna spawn some of these guys and see if anything can possibly survive it. These ones might be too big. He's made of metal, so he actually might be good. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's good. I think he's dead at this point. <laughs> How's the other robot doing? He's actually doing okay. Oh, I don't think the angel's doing too well. I, I totally forgot about the angel, if I'm honest, but... Yeah, it's, it's, he's definitely not doing okay. Well, I think the angel's seen better days. He's definitely still dead. How's this guy doing? I think I need to help him a bit. There you go, buddy. He's dead as well. This other guy, he was actually doing good. I was too f focused on these guys. It looks like he did die after all. And the astronaut just started vibing, so he's actually the only one that's okay. 
This is 140 meters tall, and we can totally destroy it. By the way, I don't know what's going on in this room. I'm not going to question it, though. The first thing I want to try is let's see what happens when somebody unfortunately falls off. Now, I'm going to follow him. There we go. Yeah, seems like you're falling, buddy. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, God, let's slow it down. He's going for a splat. That's for damn sure. Oh, man. Okay, what next? You know what? Let's get one of these middle things gone. Deleted. <gasps> oh, it actually broke itself. Yep, it's going down. It is going down. All right, let's just let this thing go. Oh, we're going to have to slow it down. This is a lot to calculate. Amazingly, like the rest of the tower, I was going to say it's good, but now it's actually not doing too well. Oh, we just imploded everything. Okay. The more I look at this as they fall, though, the better it gets. You know what? Let's just let's just ignite that just because. But look at this guy. And then, like, come over here. This guy's all compobulated. But this one gets me the most. How does that even happen, dude? You're still sitting, but the chair is sitting on you. We got... <laughs> right. Every guy I look at is just weird. How did you do that? Oh, there we go. Yep. That's that's how you that's how you jam it in there. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> it kind of worked. It shot out all of them though. So clearly I did something wrong. Okay. So I thought the button I, that I hit was the range. No, this is the range button here. So, ooh. ooh. Oh, so I'm I'm only allowed to change it when it turns green. Okay. I think that actually might be good. I mean, we have to get the foundation down, so I need to also press F on this once loaded, which is what I did wrong. Now they're ready to go, so I think we just shoot it. Oh my god! Holy crap! Okay, that's a lot more powerful than I thought. Both the tower and the ballista, though. That thing shot out fast. That was so cool. You know what? I wonder if we could just take this thing down with, like, bad weather. Lightning chance zero. Let's put some snow on as well, just for fun. Ah, oh, yes, it actually is snowing. Okay, now we wait. I don't know what's gonna happen when this thing actually gets struck. Is the lightning working? Oh, there's one to the right. Oh, oh, it got hit. Oh my god, that could have been really, really bad. That actually went well, though. Oh, yes! Oh, no! Come on! I thought, I thought that was just a fluke. Why does it implode on itself? Well, it was pretty for a second. Um, surprisingly, that took a long time to get a lightning strike to happen, but god damn it, we did it. Check out this beautiful thing. Now, the driver might be dead, but that's okay. We don't need a driver. I can control that anyways. We're gonna activate the start here. That puts it in gear, and then let's drop these mines off because this is going to be fantastic. Oh no. Okay, there we go. It just it made the fuse go off. Now, I have a car over here. I hope they get there in time. But I'm thinking that they should. Oh, this might be good. Oh, it actually connects to him. That's fantastic. Okay, okay, stop. I'm just gonna delete that. That's so cool. Did you see it connect to it though? It like sticks to it. All right, put this thing back in gear. So yeah, you can turn it off or on. Let's check the, re the rest of these things out. Oh yeah, we got a big gun on the front. We have multiple guns on the front actually. J, rocket. Looks like we have unlimited, which is fantastic. And then like a shotgun. All right, this thing is just gonna be cannon fodder. I just wanna try this thing out. Oh, I just broke my gun. No. All right, I wonder if we can still like push this into place. Come on, just gotta shoot straight. There we go. It's still kind of working. Yeah, take that. Oh wow, this thing, <laughs> this thing's got some armor on it, man. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna penetrate that. Well, let's fight back a little bit then. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh Jesus, it doesn't stop. Okay. I th I think I, I think I was highlighting the wrong vehicle. God damn. All right, I had to go back to this thing cuz it's actually really fun to just load this. And I wanted to try it against something that's wood. So, of all things, we have an ATAT -AT that's wood over here. He's also got, I don't know if this is explosive or not, but I hope it is. So we're gonna see if we can actually shoot that thing. And, oh my God. It's not the most accurate of machines. Oh, I really wish, you know what? I can probably pull this up a bit. There we go, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him right in the head. Yes! Oh, are you serious? Did you see that? 
How did that not explode? Are you serious? How? It's made out of wood, for God's sakes. Come on, get in there. This thing's got good balance, too. I will say that. It's actually impressive. All right, your final chance to actually destroy this thing. Look at the amount of shots I've actually hit. Like, we even broke the light. I love it. <laughs> I'm just hitting my shots at this point, and it's using it as freaking armor. I can't believe. Is this thing... Can we not explode this? Let's just activate it. Oh! It did explode! It just took forever! Well, usually Wachas are long-range weapons, but I can do whatever the hell I want in this game, and I just want to see this happen. Oh, that's a- that's a weird noise. <laughs> I can't believe how powerful this at at is. Well, let's see if this has the range to destroy a floating tower. Oh! Oh, I hit some! All right, we we at least got some kills. I don't think it's gonna have the power to take this thing over. It's not really designed to destroy anything but human flesh. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Try a second shot though. Oh, I, 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 at least my aim's on point. But yeah, these things are actually quite weaponized. Now I did I did want to try something else though. What happens if we if we just use the power of gravity at to my advantage here? I'm gonna slowly add one ton weights. I'm actually impressed. I mean, this thing's held together by. Three cords on each side, and so far it's holding five tons of weight plus, you know, the weight of it itself. Let's see how far we can actually go. Are you okay? What the hell just happened? Oh, there it goes. Okay, I think I added one too many there, so we'll only consider the ones that are actually on the tower. 18 tons. It took 18 tons to knock this thing down, and that's actually so cool. I, I love that this is just suspended in the air. Ah! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, it's great! Oh my god, so yeah, the fireworks ignited all the explosives. The only guy that's doing okay is this guy. I don't think he will be for long, though. Actually, I, I didn't see this guy over here. My bad, buddy. Dude's sitting down like, this is fine. And it just broke right in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta be honest, I thought the uh, fireworks wouldn't do much, so I started there, but already we, we, we got destroyed. So let's go right to the napalm bomb, just to get something a little more exciting. As I was saying, a little more exciting, damn it. Ah, that actually wasn't too bad, all things considered. I mean, it was a giant bomb, but it did take it out. I like that one cord was still good there, but no, everything is destroyed once again. The worms are still probably the grossest thing in this game, so I, I of course had to build a worm torture chamber because who who doesn't want to see that? Let's oh my god, you didn't even he didn't even last. Like before they were kind of just chewing on him slowly. I guess when you have about a hundred worms around you, uh, you don't last too long at all. I am sorry, buddy. Are you still alive in there? Come on, just get up. Come on. Yeah, they they love you. Look it. There, aren't you happy now? We have a highly improved human. Is he worm improved? That's what I want to know. He's a little taller. Okay, well that's good. Doesn't seem like you're gonna be able to help too much, buddy. What about an invisible human? Well, clearly the worms can see him! This human's been given consciousness. Well, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're just gonna- <laughs> He's trying to get away! Oh god, this is so much worse! So wait, wait, I'm more intrigued by this human now. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to that later, maybe. Let's just save that. So for example, does this guy know if there's a guy in front of him? Oh, he's actually doing it on his own. Okay, he's like, nope, I'm out of here. Okay, so what happens if I put something in front of him that's scary? Like a very sharp spear. <laughs> well, he's not that smart, is he? Let's see if his friend is smarter. Dude, you're not... Really that smart, are you? I, I, I gotta be honest, I thought you would be smarter. He just killed himself. That, that's actually impressive. Well, if anyone can survive my worm gauntlet, it's Mr. Tony Stark. So, yes, we gotta suit him up. If I drop this, oh my god, that's amazing. So you can drop it right on him. Here's your, sh your shoulder pads, Mr. Tony Stark. Here, let me help you with that one. There you go, bud. This is insane. Here you go. Um, what the hell does that do? Let's activate that. Oh, god. All right, we're almost suited up, buddy. I think I got the majority. Oh god, no, 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 Tony, that's okay, Jesus. Those worms are very hungry, as you can tell. Oh, I, I almost forgot your shoes. <laughs> it's so cute, I have to suit up Tony Stark. This is adorable. Can we shoot them? Oh, you can actually damage them, Tony. Tony, 
you, you're a lot stronger than I expected. All right, but let's see how good your armor truly is, Mr. Tony. What did I just forget? Tony, I, I hope that's just like blood or something. And I hope you don't need that. Mind you. I mean, he survived a little bit, but I gotta be honest, Tony, I expected more with your really expensive suit. Oh God, they're like ripping apart his suit. Oh God, Tony, you got ripped in half. I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't think I did that. I think they actually did that. Clearly my torture chamber works out well. And on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of People Playground here. I hope you guys enjoy checking out this game once again. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Cause honestly, the modding community is blowing me away with this game. So if you wanna see more, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and liking guys. I'll see you in the next one.